welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official teaser trailer for new HBO original series, Mayor of East Town. Now, of course, as you see below, it's definitely spelled a bit differently than what, you, what I said out of my mouth. So basically, uh, it's about Kate Winslet. It's a small town murder mystery. Uh, the setting, Pennsylvania. Um, and it is a detective. You've heard all before. It's a detective going through all stuff in real life while at the same time dealing with a local murder. You've yeah. heard this before. You've heard this a million times before. What makes this unique? Well, it has Kate Winslet in it. Also has Guy Pierce in it. What's the it's twist? Being, it's being directed by the guy who directed The Hunt. Okay. But being written by the guy who did that really good Ben Affleck sports film, The Way Back. I gotta watch that. It's on my list. I know, I know. I've heard it's like fucking fantastic film. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would tell my bird before we started that she, I'm to be, she's not even top bill. Kate Winslet is not even top bill in this. Like, but it even has Evan Pierce, and I didn't even know that. Okay. Yeah. And so let's Smart. dive into this. Um, is, is this uh, is a mini series, right? Or is it a film? I believe it's probably a mini series, considering it's a premise yeah. about a small town local murder. But I'm just yeah, going so with series for now. I'm going to go with mini series. So let's okay. dive into this for the official HBO teaser trailer. For mayor of East Town. So here we go. I'm Richard. What's your name? Mayor. Give it up for Miss Lady Hawk. Uh. Why did they call you Lady Hawk? I made a shot in a basketball game 25 years ago. They think you're a hero. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Must have been some shot. Most places, no. Around here, yeah. What do you do, Mayor? I'm a detective. A detective? You don't have any bodies hidden under your porch, do you? <laughs> uh, not yet, no. <laughs> limited series. Yeah, limited series, yeah. Uh... The East Town Police Department received a call reporting a dead body in Freedom Creek. Oh, shit. Son of a bitch, you did this. Because if you don't, Killing myself. Okay. Tell me about your father. He was my best friend. He passed away when I was 13. He was a detective. At least you've still got your mother. Oh, we can't stand each other. <laughs> I can feel it happening again. This expectation from people to be something I don't think I'm good enough to be. Mayor, I know what you've been through. And I know you're worth saving. The ground is just falling out beneath you. Mom, we don't know what's going to happen, all right? Go back to the file. Dig deep. Recommit yourself. Doing something great is overrated. Put the gun down! Listen, people expect that from you. All the time. <laughs> Okay, is it me or did the audio like kind of kick in the last like quarter of that? Kind of like, in a way up. where it's like it just kicked up a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I, it's I, I, about, I like it. I it's like about it. what I expected. Yeah. It's a I mean, if I have one outside, it's about what I expected. It's a small town murder mystery, and the main focus is on her trying to solve it. Um, what I like, what draws me into it, and it's what drew me into the um, AMC show. What was AMC? Yeah, it was AMC, was uh the killing. Uh, and it was just, you know, uh, like, that's right. you know, the small time mystery. Oh, I did. I fully finished okay. it because the rest of it was on, on Netflix. Uh, but what I liked about it is that it's like, you just have the simple detective or at least simple cop who's dealing with their own crap at home, uh, you know, with life, family and stuff like that. But then at the same time, it's like, it's like they have, you know, it's like they have, you know, it's like they're dealing with a lot of mentality type of issues where it's just like, they're just trying to get to this case. They're trying to focus on this case. And that's what draws me into it. It's like, you're just seeing this like a real life person as if pretty much they deal, they, they're dealing with crap just like anybody else does. I think what definitely helps with that with you is that it is from the writer of that Ben Affleck film, you know? Yeah, that's it. You know, it I, I kind of get the same vibes when, when watching this trailer, that same tone I got from the watching the Way Back trailer, which was just yeah. like, a heavy, the clearly emotional. showing, 
I think what's good about the writer of the way back is they know because Ben Affleck was really like applauded for his role in that film. Yeah. Well, really, I think what the writer really knows how to do is really convey like somebody who's literally going through like shit and hell. At He's the going, same they're time. going through the worst of the worst at this point, pretty much. And but and you can really knows see how to it. it. You can see it in the way they look. You can see it. You can hear it in the way they talk about them. Just yeah. talking about themselves and their lives. And yeah, you you, you saw that in the way back trailer and you definitely see it here with kate winslet's character yeah. mayor which is an easy name to remember <laughs> um so yeah, yeah and, and interesting name for a daughter but you know what good, there's uh, more interesting ones good uh, yeah good cast uh looks solid um oh, yeah. I'm, I'm for one not big on small time murder mysteries i think the only one i fully finished was broad church yeah, um i really enjoyed that one, but yeah. i'll be honest after the third season was kind of like in my opinion, yeah. kind of unnecessary. It was kind of unnecessary. It wasn't bad. It just felt like kind of unnecessary. It just felt like it just felt like it was something they needed to drag along like, one more yeah, time. Like you know? season one was good. Season two was wrapping up everybody's storylines from the previous season. But season three was just like, it's oh, there. David Tennant's working again. Yeah, it's like it's like, it's like but it was it's still good. It's, it's just yeah. it, it it just kind of felt like they were trying to see if they can continue to do this. Without like and it kind major, of did the same, it kind of it kind of was like the same way with the killing, but the only difference is that it's like they they kept it going pretty much because it was still there was still a story there, uh, and uh, that's how come luckily Netflix picked it up just to wrap up that final. Oh yeah, season. Joel Joel Kinnaman has to thank the killing for getting his career. It off really the launched his it really launched his career. This this that series really did, and like I said, back to this though is. And like I said, that's what draws me in, and it's something I probably would have my end as my list because I love these. Type, I love those type of shows because it's like, again, it's just that you have a very typical cop, pretty much, and it's just like they're dealing with real life situations. Nothing that you see like from Die Hard or you no. Know, it's like no, it's just like actual grounded detective where it's like we're dealing with crap, whether it's kids, mom, dad, family, husband, exes, or anything like that. It's like they're dealing with crap at the same time they're trying to solve this really huge case. You know, and I love that. And this is something that I honestly, I wouldn't mind watching. Yeah, same here. Uh, definitely looks like I was something I would add to my list, or at least add to my list on HBO Max. That's so it. other than that, folks, if you need a channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about HBO original limited series, subscribe yeah. button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys saw of this teaser trailer overall. Are you a sucker for these type of like uh, uh, these type of stories? You know, just that 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 cop that just you know is going through so much, but they're trying to do their best. To, you know, try to solve this case and things like that. I mean, do you have any favorites that stand out? You know, that really you know just get you going and it's like, yes, I, I am definitely into this. Let us know uh, what you think of this trailer overall. Is this one of those that you de you would definitely want to watch, take a look at, see what happens? Uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall down below. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very mayor-filled episode of SRB. See you. Later. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.